Usually, whenever the express entry draw would happen, you feel quite excited, you quite feel quite happy. I don't think I have the same feeling today. Today, uh, another express entry draw has happened. Uh, a very uh, surprising one, to be very honest, because, hey, when did you last expect a draw on a Tuesday, right? I mean, you, you don't anticipate a draw on Tuesday. It, do it doesn't really happen. But then IRCC is making a habit out of Tuesdays. Last week also they conducted a draw, which was, I think, on Thursday. Then they conducted a draw, which was on Tuesday. So, sorry, they conducted a draw on Thursday, then they conducted a draw on Tuesday. So, are they making this a new habit of, you know, Tuesday's draws as well? But it, it becomes even more interesting because we are at the cusp of uh, category-based draws to start in full steam. Uh, we've already had a taste of a category-based draws, which happened... Uh, on the 28th of June, last week, last Wednesday. Uh, and now we are at the cusp when we are expecting a full-fledged proper draws to start under the category based. So today's draw was a bit uh, surprising, I would say, but let's talk more about it. Welcome to the channel. My name is Kubair. I'm a CICC licensed immigration consultant. This channel is all about Canadian immigration news, updates, things you should do, things you definitely should not. And today we are talking about the most recent, latest express entry draw. This was draw number 253 uh, because, you know, the draws are happening so quickly. So this was draw number 253. Today being the 4th of July, happy Independence Day to everybody in the United States of America, whoever is celebrating it. Uh, this was the 17th draw of the series of 2023. The number of invitations issued is only 700. This is where the surprise even becomes bigger. I mean, it, it start, slowly starts turning into a shock. Uh, but this was an all program draw, which basically means no categories were specified. Every single person who had a score of 511 and more would have been invited in today's draw if your profile was eligible, if your profile was already active. Uh, the tiebreaker applies only to profiles with a score of 511. And that was effective 1st of July 2023 at 9.31 a.m. UTC. So if you created your profile after this period of time and your score is 511, then you would not have been included in this particular draw. The pool looks quite interesting. And the reason why I'm saying it's interesting, now this is the pool as of the June 27th, which is uh, last week, uh, last Tuesday, I would say. And here, if you see, uh, this draw happened almost, I wouldn't say all, yeah, about, about three weeks. And after three weeks, the number of profiles in the pool between 491 and 1200 were roughly 3500. So this was after three weeks. But here, this is as of today, pool breakdown. The number of profiles above 491 is already 1910. Uh, not too many nominations, only 353 nominations. Uh, so that's the people who have received 600 points in their express entry profile because they've received the nomination. So only 353, not too many there. Uh, but the number of people in 501 to 600, now 726, the number of people who got added with a score of 491 and above was 831. And there was also an increase in the profiles between 481 to 490, but not too many. This is 4,719. Uh, the previous week, you had roughly uh, 4,856 and then uh, that would have also gotten reduced because of the last draw. And then not too many additions with the 481 factor, but obviously the fact that the score was a very high number of 511, that has left a lot of you foxed out there thinking, what's happening, what's going on, what will happen. So that's that's what we're going to talk about today. But more importantly, uh, I'm not sure if how many of you are figuring that out or noticing, but the actual number of profiles in the express entry pool is drastically reducing. So this time the pool is almost 6,000 profiles lesser than the last pool breakdown, which was of the, uh, of the 28th of June, 27th of June. So I'm not sure if, if people who are getting... Uh, uh, invited then obviously newer people are not coming into the pool or uh, more people are choosing not to extend their profile or renew their profile or recreate their profile or they're just getting ineligible and not interested anymore. I'm not sure which one of that is happening but 
a uh, lot of people are basically the number of profiles in the pool is actually reducing. Let's look at the key analysis point, right? The draw on draw number increase in 491 plus range is 1910, as I just discussed. Remaining number of profiles with score of 481 plus. This also includes everybody who is in the 481 to 490 range. Now, at this point of time, that's 5,929. Uh, the next draw estimate is for tomorrow. Tomorrow being the 5th of July. Uh, and the reason why we know that is because IRCC has already made that announcement that they will be conducting a draw tomorrow, 5th of July, Wednesday. And this would be for the STEM category. This is the category-based draw. So STEM category knock codes would be included. And the health category, healthcare occupations, that would also be included in tomorrow's draw. So these two specific categories draws are expected to happen tomorrow. At this point of time, the regular CRS score draws or the regular, regular express entry draws now we are beginning to we are becoming more and more skeptical about them. Anything below 480s is is absolutely looking far, far, far away. I mean, I I, I don't see that happening anytime in the near future. Uh, not only that, the score of 511 that by itself has happened uh, not too many times. I mean, in 500s, when was the last time we got to 500? Right, uh, last time we got to 500 was on the 11th of January. Can you believe that 11th of January we saw 507 uh, and that too because there was uh, not too much of a gap but still the score went up. There was a gap. Yes, there was a little bit of, you know, it was I think a three week thing but after that the scores have pretty much remained in 490s and 480s. Uh, there was a drop in the score to 481 but that was primarily because IRCC chose to conduct three back to back draws of 7,000 each. So score dropped from 490 to 481. Only a nine point drop, but they had to issue 21,000 invitations in order to get to that nine point drop. Can you imagine how many people were there in the profile, uh, in the pool at that point of time? But ever since then, the scores have been pretty much stuck with 486, 483, 488, 486 again, 486 yet again. So 486 seems to be a favorite number with IRCC then. And then we had last week 500 invitations issued under the healthcare category with score of 476 and then now 511. So what's what's really uh, triggering here is that has now IRCC made this a new format. Okay, Like for example, last Tuesday, they conducted an all program draw. 4,300 invitations were issued, 486 was the score. And immediately the next day, which was the Wednesday, they conducted the healthcare occupation draw, the category specific draw, only 500 invitations were issued. Now this week, today again being the Tuesday, uh, obviously we didn't expect today's draw. They have invited 700 people uh, and now tomorrow we expect the category based draws. Now before we start jumping to conclusions that will they only issue the low number of invitations for regular uh, express entry? Well, I don't know at this point of time. Definitely 700 number is quite a worrying factor because, I mean, I've always said that if you've been watching my videos earlier and whenever we do this uh, uh, express entry draw lives, and I've already always spoken about this, that they do not have a, uh, you know, limitless supply of ITAs. It's not like they can continue issuing ITAs as much as they want. It's not going to happen they, because all the ITAs are connected to the immigration quotas and the quotas are obviously fixed. So the number of ITAs would also be fixed. Uh, it, it's not going to be limitless, right? So at some point of time, they had to create the balance because at this point of time, let me bring you this one. The number of invitations that have already been issued in 2023 is 60,248. That's a lot of invitations. Uh, I am, in my opinion, and I'm expecting that this year they would issue anywhere between 85 to 90,000 invitations. Earlier, my, my opinion was about 80,000. I just sort of bummed it up with this category based draws happening. Not really sure what IRCC is, is planning, but obviously the expectation is that if you are to receive an ITA today or within this month or the next month, then those people, by the time their applications are processed, if they're outside Canada, they're not going to come to Canada this year. So all the invitations that are now being sent out, majority of them, those people are expected to arrive in Canada only next year. So they will be towards the target for 2024. Not for this year anymore, right? So that, that's the basic logical calculation. Given that factor, 
my expectation is for this year, they would issue about 85 to 90,000 90, invitations, definitely not more than that. I, I don't see that happening. That being said, only 30,000 invitations. Again, if I go with my logic again, you know, guys, this is just speculation. So please, you know, just don't, don't, don't put a gun on my forehead for that. But if approximately 30 more thousand invitations are to be sent out or to be given, then obviously they will not be sending out a lot of invitations with the regular draw or the regular uh, express entry draw because they have to also now start issuing chunks of draws for the six categories they've created. Sean Fraser was very clear when he said that they are looking to invite, uh, they're looking to invite 2000 people for this first set of draws for the healthcare. He already made that announcement. He said the number of 2000. He said 500 last week and 1500 this week. So we are expecting 1500 invitations for healthcare tomorrow. By the same logic, same logic, I'm, I'm assuming that tomorrow's draw, when the STEM category draw happened, would also be maybe 2000, maybe 2500. Why? Because they just love the, <laughs> the tech talent. So maybe 2500. I, I don't see it happening more than that. Because even if they do issue 1500 invitations, another 2000 or 2500 invitations with tech draw that would still be about 4000 invitations add to that they've already issued 700 today that's again 4700 invitations last week they already issued 50 uh, 4800 invitations 4300 regular expiratory draw 500 for your healthcare occupations these are a lot of invitations being issued in terms of you know when, when they have to look at the numbers at the end of the year therefore in my opinion and only opinion, absolutely opinion and speculative opinion at that. I expect obviously 1500 invitations for healthcare because that's what they've already said, approximately two to 2500 invitations for the STEM categories, which would then let's, let's look at what the numbers are looking here then. Uh, in my opinion, STEM categories, I am expecting that the CRS score will range between 470 and 480. Of course, at this point of time, you know, it, it's a broad number, very big range, because there is no way of speculating. There is no way of knowing how many people of STEM categories are there within the express entry pool. And the, another thing with the STEM categories is, is we do not really know, or rather, actually, we know that there are a total of 30, 24 occupations. Whenever Ontario conducts these draws with the tech draw, they choose only 10 occupations. And with 10 occupations, they issue about 800, 900 invitations. And the score ranges between 6 to 8 points below 480. So in 470s is what they have usually come, uh, come out before. However, under the federal government's express entry, the STEM categories have 24 occupations. Because there are 24 occupations and because there is absolutely no way of knowing how many people from STEM categories are there in the express entry pool with what scores? I'm just going to play it safe, a bit conservative on this one and say 470 to 480 if the ITAs are about 2000. With healthcare categories, uh, again, I'm going to take the Ontario's example. In the federal health category uh, knock codes, there are about 34, 35 occupations. Now with the 34, 35 occupations, they only issued 500. When they issued 500, the score dropped by 10 points, which is with only 500 invitations, 10 points, right? Now, if they have 1500 invitations, uh, I'm expecting between 440, 450. Uh, that is what I'm expecting. Mind you, everybody who received an invitation from Ontario, the healthcare occupations, most of them haven't received a nomination from Ontario. So all those 2000 plus people are also in the express entry pool. And they would be the ones who would be getting double invitations. So they've already received Ontario nomination. Now they will also receive the express entry invitations. Therefore, in this particular draw, I don't expect anybody else to get benefited. But those people who are already there in the express entry pool with Ontario nomination. So therefore, I'm going to again play a bit conservative because of the 34, 35 knock codes. And of course, many more new people would have gotten added because everybody got excited when Ontario started inviting draw uh, healthcare occupations. And the score went down right below to 427. In this with this situation, I'm thinking 440 to 450. That's that's basically what I would be looking at. And uh, by all means, you know, uh, feel free to disagree with that because this is all speculation. This is all just just prediction. Obviously, we will know much better when it happens tomorrow. But let's. This is basically all that I had. As I said. 
the number of people in the express entry pool is now 214,529. It has dropped from 220,000 people who were in the express entry uh, pool uh, earlier. And uh, quotas uh, for 2023, 82,880, 35,000 approximately for the PNPs. The cat next category based draw is tomorrow, July the 5th. So this is how it is looking like. The only uh, thing that we have to wait and watch and see, is this going to be the new format? that they would conduct category-based draws on one day and then the next day conduct, uh, or rather the day before conduct the all-program draw or regular draw. The only concern, as I've said, is the fact of how many invitations they will issue for the regular express entry draw because that alone would decide what the scores are going to be for the regular express entry draws. Uh, I, I absolutely i am with you guys. I, I understand that there are so many of you out there who have been waiting anxiously, desperately for the scores to come down. Not Now the, the thing is, not only that the scores are not coming down, they're actually going up because everything is demand and supply. If the supply of invitations is going to be less and the demand is so high because so many of you are scoring such high scores, obviously the scores are going to be uh, you know, on the higher side of things. I'm also feeling really bad for everybody who's in the Canadian experience class because a, a lot of you have worked really hard. You studied here, you got your Canadian work experience uh, and, and this is again looking uh, very difficult unless IRCC comes out and conducts CEC specific draw. I haven't seen that happening. Uh, I really thought that when they start conducting these category based draws, there might come a time when they start also overlapping it with a program draw and saying, okay, let's have a CEC specific draw only for this category. Uh, that looked like it was going to happen uh, as a possibility. But at this point of time, uh, the news and the update is that they conducted another draw today, which was a surprise. 700 invitations issued, 511 was the score. And this was an all program draw with high anticipation, high expectation of a category based draw tomorrow for STEM categories and healthcare occupation categories. Invitations ex expected from st for STEM is about 2,000 to 2,500, for health, 1,500. And the scores is something which we'll all wait excitedly. I will join you again tomorrow night when we talk more once these draws have been conducted so we get a better understanding as to what's going on and what they are planning. That's all that I have for you today. Uh, thank you for joining in and I shall see you tomorrow. Yeah. Don't forget to join me tomorrow. Take care. Good night.